What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're gonna create a glitch flicker effect in LumaFusion. This effect is something that I also created with my Miami intro which I created approximately one year ago so you might have seen this type of uh, glitch flicker effect uh, before here on my channel but if you haven't seen it it looks something like this. Now this effect is super simple to create, it doesn't take long at all, it's all about opacity changes and also positioning. You can also take this effect here and if you place this on top of a different video, you can have, a, you know, a different look, which looks something like this. Now without further ado, let's head over to the iPad so we can start creating this awesome flicker glitch effect, which, uh, you know, might be suitable for music videos as well. So moving over to LumaFusion, I've already prepared some clips here on the timeline. Now the clips we're gonna work with in today's tutorial is this first one and the second one here. So we're gonna start with the first one here and if we just do a playback first, you can see how it looks with the same type of music here. So we want to create some uh, glitchy uh, uh, sort of flicker-ish effect to this as well. So th this is extremely simple. So the first step is to just select the clip and then duplicate it. And once you duplicated the uh, clip, you can just uh, leave it as it is. Don't move it from side to side. Just leave it like it is now. And then what you do is you trim in the uh, beginning of it and then the end of it like this. And once we have done that, we are basically done with the the first clip here. So we're going to duplicate this one more time and do the exact same thing like that. And then one more time like that. So you can you can change the uh, uh, amount of trimming that you are doing just to see how the effect is going. So it doesn't matter if you follow the steps here in the, in the amount that I trim. Uh, you can just do this if you want and then you can change it later on. It's it's all up to you to create your unique effect. So um, let's go on and duplicate this one more time. So now we end up with five of the same clip here. So we have the original one which is on the uh, track number one. This is just going to stay there. And we're not going to do anything with that at all. So this is just the base clip. Uh, and uh, we have one at the top here and um, yeah, so four is what we're going to work with. So the next thing we're going to do now once we uh, fixed the uh, duplication of all the clips here is to go into edit on the top one or bottom one. It doesn't really matter. Now once we've done this, we're going to go over to blending and then we're just going to take the blending to 50%. Now I did this effect before we had the... Um, uh, the blending modes here, we only had the opacity. Now you can use screen uh, blend mode and you can use uh, uh, lighten, but if you're gonna create the same type of effect, um, the only thing you need to do is just change the opacity to around 50. You can also play around with this if you want to do that, but just start with 50 and then see how it goes. So now that we changed the opacity to 50%, I'm gonna go on to the clipboard down here, just tap on that, then copy, Gonna go over to the timeline again and use the multi selection tool, which is here. Just use that, and then select the three clips on the bottom of it, and then clipboard again, which is here. And then you can just leave everything as it is and then paste. So now we applied the opacity change to the remaining clips here as well. So if we go into that, we can go over to blending and we see that we have the same opacity change, which we apply to the top layer. So what we're going to do now is we can start with the bottom clip here. We're going to go into edit on that bottom clip or the one which is, uh, is on the second track, which we're going to add some effects to here or some a glitch effect. And you can simply just take the position X and Y. It doesn't really matter which one. And we're just going to change this a tiny bit here. So this one is just going to be plus three, which you see here on the position X. So let's take this to um, uh, minus three or something like that. Let's keep it on minus three. So now we take in this bottom one here to the right and this one to the left. Let's go over to the other one here. We can just take this. Let's just do a couple of nudges to the left here. So 1.5 minus 1.5. And we're going to do the same thing to the top one here. Let's go plus 1.5 on this one. Now you can do uh, this uh, as, as hard as you want. You can do a massive amount of, uh, 
or position X or position Y changes here. As you can see here, you can create some really cool effects, but we're going to keep it on plus 1.5. So if we go back to the timeline now and just scrub through here, you can see that we have these changes in the clip, which is creating this type of a glitch flicker effect, which you saw in the intro. Now let's just do a fast playback of that to see how it looks. Perfect. So we have this suddenly starting. Now what I did, if I remember correctly, is to, on the Miami intro which I created, was to add some cross dissolves here at the beginning and also at the end of these clips here to make it sort of fade in and fade out. Now for the top one here, we can take this down to um, 0 0.2 seconds and on the, uh, like that. So we have that at the end and at the beginning. And on this one, we can just, uh, let's see, take it to three, maybe take this clip a little bit more to the right here. And we're gonna do the same thing to the remaining clips as well. So let's see here how it looks like now. Now we have something which is sort of similar here on the timeline. So let's uh, just do a playback of that. So now it fades in a little bit. Now you can do the changes that you want to do yourself. You can play around with the different uh, uh, amounts. So if you want to go harder on it, you push it more to one of the sides and you can really create something which is looking really cool by just doing these um, simple steps to create this simple transition. Now, or effect, I mean. Now let's take a look at it one more time before we do some uh, additional changes. Looks quite quite good quite good it's coming in here and then it sort of bounces to the left here as we can see and then goes back to normal so the next one here is uh, exactly the same we're going to do the same thing here and uh, what we're going to do now is just duplicate this so we're going to duplicate that we can trim in the beginning if you want to do that uh, i don't want to do that on this one so i'm just going to trim in the uh, the end of it duplicate that just trim in the uh, top or the uh, start i mean and then we're going to do the same things on the end here. But on the end on this one is where I want to drag it a little bit in. So we have this sort of going the other way. Now what we can do is to just select one of them or we can select the top one here. And we're going to go into blending and just change the blending on it again. Just duplicate and copy that. And just make sure to multi-select all of the clips here. And then select paste. Now we don't have any changes in the uh, position here, so we need to go in and fix that as well. So I'm going to take the position X just a little bit to the uh, right here. Then I'm going to go over to the next one and do it the opposite way, just a tiny bit on this one. So let's see, something like that. Now moving over to the bottom one here, I want to take this a little bit more to the right something like that so now that we've done that we can go out to the timeline and we can do a playback or scrub through here just to see how it looks and it looks quite good let's do a playback of that perfect so we also want to fade this in so what we're going to do is to do the same thing we're going to take some cross dissolve here and put at the uh, uh, beginning and at the end of the uh, uh, different layers here. Now, if you want it to be just a, a hard cut into the next scene and you don't want to add the uh, cross dissolves, that's completely fine. Uh, you don't have to do this. This is just an example of how you can do it as well to smoothen the uh, uh, the opacity changes and the clips in a little bit more. So once we apply the cross dissolve here, we created a basic simple effect here in just a few uh, steps uh, with uh, some changes in the opacity, also some cross dissolves, and then just duplicated the different uh, clips and multiplied them so we had more of the layers. Now, if you are going to, you know, have something above this, or if you want to go uh, multiple layers more than this, then what you can do is just multi select the uh, different clips here. So we now we multi selected four clips, and you can just copy this everything and then just go over and make a new. A project here you can paste this and once this is pasted you can just go over and export this and then import the exported file to the uh, 
uh, current project you're working on. So let's go into this again and uh, let's do a playback of this final one here to see how it looks. So there you have another super simple effect made in Luma Fusion. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. If this is something that you want to see more of, make sure to check out robishgivevlogs.com and the brand new creators collection bundle. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to get notified when I upload new videos. So with that said, that's the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.